Well, each day during the governor and president's daily COVID-19 briefings, we read into the numbers to see what they're telling us, the good and the bad. Bob Clawson takes a closer look at a few things, though, we may be missing that needs a closer look. We humans, we have gone from clubbing our meals for dinner to flying to the moon and back. We can even see worlds we can't get to. We can replant forests and build cities, towns and roads, planes and ships for pleasure and war, and in the process, destroy those cities and towns and kill millions for right and wrong. And then this, something we can't even see is impacting all of us. Everything we have and everything we do, it stopped us all, not just here, but everywhere. In places we can't pronounce and people we'll never meet. You need a microscope to see it, yet it's become bigger than all of us. It sure as heck wasn't created to teach us how to wash our hands, but it's done that and more. It has traversed peoples, nations, cultures, language, politics, social class, and ethnic backgrounds, even animals. That's not what we are. Are we all going to die? Yes. But not from this. Some sadly will. Many more will recover. I pray to God it doesn't touch my family, and I'm doing my part. We're all being asked to do a few things that inconvenience us and make some of us uneasy, whether we scale down or scale up. But we're not being drafted in order to march up a beach into a hail of machine gun fire. Keep in mind, many before us have and did, and many stand by ready to do the same if called on. We're being asked to stay home with family, keep an eye on friends, share, stay healthy, keep others safe, and we're doing a pretty good job of that. This thing, it's creating a lot of agony. It's also creating a thing that we need to take a look at about us, all of us. If this is a global reset, pay attention. We may not get another one. We're learning more than to wash our hands. We're learning that we actually can't function if we're not holding hands, relying on each other everywhere, from one end of this planet to the other. We're seeing that we need each other. If you never thought about that, think about it now. We're not a nation under God, but a world. We don't make the rules of nature. We have to make our way within them. You can't do it alone. Alone, the fight's over. Together, the goal's in sight. Religious or not, he does have the whole world in his hands. And when we hold hands again, maybe the lesson here is to hang on just a little bit tighter and maybe really raise them in anger toward one another. This will end. How we begin again is in your hands.